Well, it was a great game and it was very nearly spoiled by two incompetent referees, Paul Tierney, uh, on-field official, and the VAR, Chris Kavanagh. Some of the decisions were so bad, it was just unbelievable. Harry's challenge is a dangerous one, really dangerous. And for Chris Kavanagh to, to look at that challenge and not deem it something that, that uh, Paul Tierney needs to go and look at is, is, is baffling to me, if I'm totally honest with you, given the fact that he's told him to go and have a look at the Andy Robertson one. So it's just that consistency that is the big problem. There will be some people who say that sometimes officials treat England captains differently. Uh, those some people would probably be correct. <laughs> Do you want me to move on? Yes. OK. <laughs> uh, what what... <laughs> uh, what are you well, doing I after? I you... know, I know, I know. I did try to ask that with a straight face <laughs> and failed. The standard, I think, of refereeing at the minute, certainly for the last few weeks, is going back to last season where they're all over the place. But we'll mention that in, in the next Yeah, game. we will. And actually, it's that relationship between VAR and the on-field official that seems to be keep being called into question yeah. at the moment. But you're right, we'll do that a little bit later. I'm slightly reluctant to bring the, the penalty up because I fear you might combust. Well, I want to. Um... Well, no, you don't. <laughs> because it's just it's just not acceptable. The last few weeks for VAR and for the officials has been dreadful. We've, as I said, we've gone back into last season where we were moaning all the time that they weren't good enough and they're not using the system as it should be. He has to sort it out, Mike Riley, and take responsibility. Do you, do, and maybe we're guessing here, right? But it feels like one week they give a whole load of lenient, debatable, dubious penalties... And maybe come in on the Monday and they go, hmm, lads, we have a few too many there. Maybe tying it up the following weekend. And that feels a little bit like what they've done today. Yeah. And yet it's like it's like a it's like a roller coaster. There's no yeah, that, there's that's no... exactly what they do though, Chappies. Yeah. You know, they'll, they'll take in all the footage of what they that they're seeing on this show and other shows that are going on. They'll feel the pressure, whether it's from pundits or managers or ex players, and they will probably sit down and have a review every weekend about what's going on. And the reality is this particular, uh, the, the week prior to this, there was given away soft penalties. And there was quite a few soft penalties uh, that was given away. So it's no surprise that this week they've gone the other way. Can, there don't seem to be any if, balance. If, if, if Mike Riley is watching these decisions today, he cannot come out and say the system's working well. Just come out and say they were wrong. I never hear anyone say, yeah, we got it wrong. You can't overreact Too many times one, you today can't and last one week. Weekend, By the way, you? John Mossett last week as well, when he awarded Man City the penalty, terrible decision. Mm. Everyone can see it. It's We've seen Red more than one today in the no. first game. We've seen that one today. It's not acceptable. Mike Riley has to take responsibility and sort it out. But, and VAR isn't the problem, it's the operation. VAR of it. is not the problem. It's the people that are running it and using it are the problem. Leave him alone now. He needs to calm down. I oh, know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, move on. We've got a smile. Thanks for checking out the BBC Sport YouTube channel. Remember to give this video a like and make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button so you never miss an upload. See you soon.